Hi, welcome to Marketing Fridays. My name is Nico, and uh, today I am with uh, Kumo. Hey. How's it? I'm good. Thanks, Nico. Thanks yeah. for having me. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you for, for joining us today and having the time to speak to us. So you do something quite interesting, right? It's, um, it's, it's not the, the norm in terms of what you do in marketing. Um, I mean, do you want to maybe just tell us a bit in terms of what is it, it is that you do? The work that I do goes a lot deeper. Yeah. It's not the, we don't, I don't look at the glitz and the glamour. I okay. look at the realistic aspects. Yeah. Um, so having an aerial view in terms of the global issues, in terms of global innovation and disruption. Yeah. And then also looking at how that is bridges to the African continent. Oh, wow. Or how the African continent is then doing something completely different yeah. to either highlight or solve or look at certain topics within the various regions. Yeah. And how that then helps businesses, marketers, researchers, investors. Oh, wow. A lot. And how I realized that there was a need for the platform as I see Africa was that in my third year, we yeah. had to, this was now in 2014, yeah. uh, we had to produce a macro report okay. for 2017. Okay. And my lecturer had encouraged us to look outside of the fashion industry. And I had then found out about these two guys in Cameroon who had created this mobile device that you could scan women when they're pregnant oh, wow. in rural areas. And I thought it was so amazing. And then I had found out about these other, um, this other group, this other man who created a group of soccer players yeah. in Nigeria and in Ghana who, had su who suffered from polio and they used skateboards yeah. to play soccer. And I just thought it was amazing. And I was Whoa. like, hey, but we don't have yeah. um, a platform that actually tells us what's happening yeah. and paints a view or gives us an aerial view so you have an understanding. So yeah. that's when I realized that if I wanted to create a platform that was a central point when you want to know what's happening in um, you know, in the township economy or Correct. when you want to know what's happening just in creatively, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, we in such a way tell a story through the frame of a trend so that you okay. understand how that can then branch out into different industries. Yeah, yeah. The aim is for companies to come to us and say, we want to tap into the demographic that do not have bank accounts, which is something that we're pushing a lot for, actually. Okay. And we've highlighted in our report called FinTech Africa. Okay. So, or for someone to say, we don't really understand what the finance aspect it is in the continent. Mm. Then we say, okay, fine. Which regions are you looking into? Who exactly are you looking into? Correct. Um, and we then produce that research for you. We could compile it for you in either in a report form, in a presentation form. Yeah. And then we work with your business to guide you in terms of providing strategies, in terms yeah. of creating aspects of brand communication for you to be able to tap into this demographic that you're looking into or into the country that you're looking into. Yeah. Or just to give you a sudden understanding of what the industry is in the continent. Then, okay, then maybe then let me ask you a tricky question, right? Oh, gosh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my fault. Yes. I mean, what what do you feel is the the most? I guess it's is it the most important or the hottest trend that we might be missing in twenty eighteen? I think the I think what companies are missing. Yeah, I'd say from the research that I've done thus far is having an understanding how to interact with the black black consumer. Yeah. From a South African perspective and from an African perspective, mm. we haven't taken enough time to actually research and understand the different dynamics of an African black consumer. You know, we all talk about being African, but then what does sure. it really mean? Yeah. And not from a poetic, ideal, idealistic way, mm. but as a company, when I say that I want to be able to tap into the township economy and actually bring some purposeful impact within that demographic, how do I do it? Um, where do I go to? And how do I then ensure that the impact that we have isn't frivolous? It's not mm. something that's a gimmick that's going to last for five minutes. Correct. And also just paying attention to the younger demographic and the work that they're doing. Mm. As much as we are globally influenced, we are very focused on trying to um, tackle the challenges within the continent or within South Africa. Yeah. So it's being able to understand that demographic. And I think if we start paying a lot more attention yeah. to the demographic, we'd realize that creating mobile apps that work in specific regions can actually work cross-continentally yeah, yeah. in terms of banking, in terms Correct. of socializing, in terms of 
even forming some type of isolated intra-African trade that doesn't necessarily mm. need governments to be able to help us, but businesses can then step forward. Yeah. Because I mean, if we look at the likes of Uber, if yeah. you look at the likes of Airbnb, they yeah. weren't waiting for government policies to change so mm. that they could disrupt the industries. Correct. They disrupted the industries and are calling for governments to actually provide that change. Yeah. So if we're able to then hone into that aspect and businesses are able to then hone into say, what is the person on the street doing? Yeah. And how do I then tap into that? We could probably have a different mind frame on how to interact with the African consumer and the black consumer in various parts of the continent. Yeah. Um, where can people follow you? So they can, <laughs> they can go on to our website. Time for the plugs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.